Howdy, 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 my darling Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to do your weekly tarot reading for June, Gemini. All right, so if you enjoyed this tarot reading today, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Gemini. All right, and be sure to get the full, um, to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy this tarot reading here today. But other than that, Gemini, let's just get right into your tarot reading here. See what's going on with y'all at, at this current point in time. And y'all have some really powerful energies walking with you at this current point in time. All right. A couple are very powerful archangels. <laughs> Speaking of which, we have here the release card, Archangel Azrael. All right. Number 13, equaling to four in numerology. The end of a phase or situation, Gemini. Spiritual transformation and it's time to move on. So what you don't see coming for you right now, Gemini, is I feel like this period of, um, this period of where I get like this sense of where it's like a, some Gemini has had a streak of bad luck when it comes to relationships. And when I say relationships, I don't just mean uh, romantic relationships. I mean, just like even platonic relationships. I mean, friendships. I mean, work relationships. It's like the sense of where you've gotten to this point, Gemini, where you're wondering if it's even worth trying to connect to people anymore, because it's like, I get like the sense of where you feel like you've always been backstabbed at the end of the day. I feel like you have had to like count on no one besides yourself when it comes to relationships i feel like you've met been met with a lot of disappointments especially even in the family uh dynamic i feel like someone in your family has really disappointed you all right it's the sense of really dis i get like disappointment i get this sense of just like trying to understand like why someone is acting the way that they are acting they could just feel like family to you right or they at one point did feel like family to you until whatever happened with the situation happened. You have the two of pentacles, the two of earth coming in here. All right. This card says too much going on at once. The need to make a decision and consider a playful approach here. All right, Gemini. And so what I see actually uh, being presented to you, Gemini, is that you are you are juggling with a lot right now. All right, you're juggling with a lot right now and I feel like you need to be willing to make the decision in regards to how would we want to put this? It's like you need to make the decision to um, put like a part of your life in the past. I don't know why I get like the sense that some Gemini has like this strong desire just packing their bags and just like going on a road trip, but that road trip actually doesn't end. You just end up in a completely new uh, city where you uh, choose to like live there instead. Like I get this sense of like a clean slate coming in here, uh, Gemini. All right. I feel like for you guys right now, you guys are going through an awakening period um, with those that are around you. All right. I feel like you guys are waking up to the behaviors of certain people of how like waking up to um, how you are treated, how you are paid. All right. It's like the sense of where it's just like it's just not enough for you anymore. Right. It's just not enough for you, Gemini. And so I feel like you're getting you're going to be having something presented to you in your life, Gemini, that gives you this opportunity being like, all right, Gemini. All right. If you want this new completely clean slate, you know, you have this big opportunity coming in where you can completely change your life and it won't ever be the same, darling. But are you ready for it? I see some of you guys, Gemini, are doubting your intuition with this. All right. You're doubting if it's something that's ready that you're ready for. All right. You have the high priestess coming in here as well. Archangel Haniel. All right. This card says, listening to your intuition, darling, have patience and consider carefully what it is that you want before acting here. Because it's like this situation here, Gemini, is like you, you are going through an awakening process and you have your spiritual team. And actually, I really want to be specific. I feel as if it's like some type of ancestor, someone like someone from like your family. Um, that has passed on that's really around you right now and it's like they it's uh, i'm being shown uh the genie from aladdin even though i don't like disney movies at all darling but i feel like it's the sense where it's like your 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 passed on relatives your ancestors it's like they have like they have this opportunity of really blessing you and really altering your life here in whatever way that you choose to decide in what way but you have to make that decision 
right? You have to um, be willing to take that risk. You know, you can choose to live the same life that you have always lived, or you could ask your ancestors to really bless you at this time and to really give you that clean slate and to really, um, I get like this sense of just like, it's like it's like purge like purging uh, like all these impu impurities in your life purging all the impurities in your life hmm. you have the unity card coming in here archangel sandal fawn all right so three archangels that are step stepping forward for you at this current point in time uh gemini so like you have a lot of powerful spiritual forces that are around you blessing you even if you don't sense it and even if you are not aware of their presence they're still there blessing you all right this card says traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual transformations and seeking out mentors or like-minded friends gemini all right so this card makes sense as to why I was getting like this sensation of like your ancestors is someone that like moved passed on relatives or passed on loved ones, just passed on loved ones, right? Um, that are actually like walking with you. You probably have uh, noticed signs of them. I feel like some of you guys have no like smelled like their perfume or cologne that they've always worn or like a scent that would remind you of them. Uh, perhaps even music as well. I feel like there's just been uh, subtle signs that have consistently made you think about them and you're just like oh i miss that person and that's why and so what i see is going down for you guys at this current point in time gemini is that you're going through an awakening process when it comes to your relationships in your life here all right when it comes to your relationships you are realizing what is enough and what isn't enough for you all right i feel like for you guys gemini there's like this like again like there's like this strong desire that i get for you gemini is that you want to just like you want to just have a completely different storyline here all right and i feel like you can get to that completely new storyline i feel as if um spirit is bringing forth certain people in your life that can help uh make that change happen or it's through some type of drastic environmental change in your life uh gemini that gets you to meet a part of parts of your soul family because i do feel as if this is like spiritually inclined here i'm not gonna say soulmates or twin flames or anything like that because i feel like those terminologies are just so watered down but i feel like it's definitely someone part of your spiritual team uh that your path can be crossed with should you go into this new path i feel like it is required for you though to change things up to change uh just making a change is whether this is in your job or living situation or what have you all right so we have the metamorphosis card coming in here for you gemini all right very fitting for you guys to be having this metamorphosis card this is literally the epitome of going through an awakening process all right you may have been noticing different ascending uh, ascension or awakening symptoms rather is what i want to be saying you may have been noticing um just like it's coming to mind right now i don't know why but it's just like you may have been finding yourself just rant, like having more um phantom itches or phantom pains uh going on around you and i feel like that is a sign where you are just energetically upgrading i feel like your auric field is changing as we know it it's like as if if you were to like not see family or friends for a couple weeks and you go back and connect with them again you will just feel completely different to them and so it's just like you're actively changing you have active upgrades going on around you energetically here all right and again it makes even more sense as to why i feel like your ancestors are around you because of that reason it's just like they're helping with that awakening process all right you have these seven of cups coming in here which again there's more like it's like you're getting several opportunities to really alter your life here all right i don't feel as if by the end of june your life is going to be the same i truly don't it's like you're going to be making a drastic decision when it comes to some facet of your life there and it's like through that drastic change gemini that's what brings forward towards like these new connections all right that new part bringing you closer to your soul family the reason why you're feeling so called to doing such a drastic change in your life here gemini is due to the fact when you're when when you are in close proximity to your soul family or in close proximity of where your soul's purpose needs to be it's going to be like a magnet that is just like drawing you from an energetic level 
pulling you to there and so i want you guys to start leaning into it more it's not you being irrational it's not those manic thoughts you know there's a reason to these feelings that you're having you might be feeling as if you are crazy at this current point in time due to these like phantom feelings what have you and it's just completely normal all right i want i want to really validate um the gemini experience for you guys right now you have the dawn of wands coming in here all right and part of the reason uh, you have this Dawn of the Wands coming in, Dawn of Wands coming in here is with this Fortitude card. All right. I don't feel like for you, Geminis, you guys are giving yourself enough credit. Can I say that? I don't feel like you guys are giving yourself enough credit here. I feel as if you have the opportunity to really alter your life, but it also spooks you out a little bit. I feel like you guys are feeling really drawn to uh, to leaning into a passion, to leaning into something that your heart is desiring that's completely new for you and you're not you're not accepting it fully here and that's what you need to be doing here all right if you're wanting to drastically change your life here gemini you have to take at least the very first step and then your ancestors those that walk with you will help you along the way but you have to be the first one to walk firstly walk through that door that's opening up for you again like gemini like if you allow this energy to fully come to fruition here your life is not going to be the same in some facet whether that's whether it's in your career Career, whether it's with your soul no i feel like all of y'all social circle without a doubt is going to be greatly altered by the end of this month here but it's just like some of you guys are going to be moving jobs moving environments here um but you have a lot of big changes coming in here it's like the calm before the storm is what i think about when i think about y'all's energy here all right um, I really want to lean into finally before we close out this reading just a little bit more about this metamorphosis energy here because again I feel like you guys are growing through out of all the zodiac signs y'all are going through the biggest awakening out of all of them and I know awakening or ascending and all those words are just so overused but my regulars can vouch me and know and let you all know that I don't use these words lightly I rarely ever do um, and so I want to just like really again validate the experiences that you're going through you pay attention to your dreams at this current point in time here all right lean into your spiritual gifts more give yourself more credit when it comes to your spiritual gifts all right because a lot of you guys are neglecting um your psychic abilities all right it's almost as if you're telling yourself being like oh it's not possible for me to have these gifts that's it's like you're always telling yourself being like oh that's meant for other people that's not part of my story it's impossible for me to have this uh these gifts as well right and it's not impossible all right so gemini that's that's the tarot reading that I have for you, darling. Hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you. All right. If you want to book a private reading with me, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Next to my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, both being simplyvelka. All right. Be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Gemini. And yeah, I love you so much, darling. And hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.